to all of you on behalf of Bishop Leo and the priests of the parish, can I welcome all of you very warmly here to the Cathedral of St. Patrick and Phelan for our annual Christmas carol service. When I came to this parish here over five years ago, I soon realized of the vast musical talent that existed within this parish and within this community. And it was always a dream for me to have all the choirs and the schools of our parish involved in a carol service in praise of God and in preparation for Christmas. Tonight, we are able to do just that. And I can assure you of a feast of wonderful Christmas music that I know will fill you with the joy of this holy season. I thank the eight choirs and the three orchestras and all of their directors for their hard work in preparation for this carol service tonight. And I hope all of you have an enjoyable evening and I encourage all of you to join in for the congregational singing parts throughout the service. Our carol service tonight is being filmed by Irish TV. And so, as we begin to tell the Christmas story through song and music and scripture and reflection, let us pause for a moment to pray to the God who is in our midst. O Lord our God, who sent Jesus to be born in a stable in Bethlehem, we praise you for coming into this world as a child. Many have pondered the mystery of the God who became flesh and dwelt amongst us. We ponder that marvelous mystery this evening. As we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ, fill us with that same joy as the angels who proclaimed your glory, the shepherds who watched their flocks that night, and the wise men who follow the star to find the babe and offer him gifts. Fill us in our time with your gifts of peace and love, joy and goodwill, love and kindness, as we wait with expectation and excitement to welcome your Son. God of endless love, may we who reflect on the birth of your Son and the spirit of Christmas be renewed by this holy season. May your blessing come upon our families, our community, and our world. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Going to the hills on a night of sorry, on the way to Bethlehem. Far away I heard a shepherd boy piping, on the way to Bethlehem. Shepherd boy piping tunes so merrily on the way to Bethlehem. Who will hear your tunes on the air so lonely on the way to Bethlehem?
prophet Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those who live in a land of deep shadow, a light has shone. You have made their gladness greater. You have made their joy increase. They rejoice in your presence as men rejoice at harvest time, as men are happy when they are dividing the spoils. For the yoke that was weighing on him, the bar across his shoulders, the rod of his oppressor, these you break as on the day of Midian. For all the footgear of battle, every cloak rolled in blood, is burnt and consumed by fire.
For there is a child born for us, a son given to us, and dominion is laid on his shoulders. And this is the name they give him. Wonder, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Wide is his dominion in a peace that has no end. For the throne of David and for his royal power, which he establishes and makes secure.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself, what these greetings could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with a shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, herself conceived a son. And she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, St. Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord.
Christmas tide. The winter night's plume projects a promise of light into the darkest vault. She comes on the moon, the stars at her feet, refracted in buds. He is the sun in snow, a child playing with rainbows. We receive with open hands the gift of wonder wool to illuminate our hearts. The winter rose, spark on bare stone, shed without thorns. It's as, it <clears throat> it's as if angels are singing again of peace and joy. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exaltation. Host of angels from high, sing rejoicing in the sky. O oh, you merry, O oh, you blessed, merciful Christmas tide. Hallows and sounds in memory spaces of our minds. In the bake scented air, candles flicker on wreaths. A bell rings to summon around the gleaming tree. Baubles of porcelain and glass, ornaments, tinsel, straw stars. The eve of Christmas unfolds, the gifts as its magic foretold. We harbor the manger mood, embed red nativity by Luke, perchance a rhyme, a stanza. Fingers fly extravaganza, carol singing, conjuring a halo at the star-speckled piano. Solemn songs, old choices, a specter of rainbow voices. Christmas tide bygone, nestled in our soul, presents in voices once more, yonder night's wonder galore. Torches, torches, run with torches.
you all to stand for the prayers of intercession. Wonder Consoler, mighty God, eternal Father, Prince of Peace, we thank you for the gift of your Son as we bring to you all prayers for our families and the people of our community. We pray for the Church throughout the world this Christmas time. May all Christians confidently proclaim Christ's message of love and peace to the world. Lord, hear us. We pray for all families as we gather to celebrate Christmas. May we all make the effort to make our homes places of love, joy, peace, and tolerance this Christmas. Lord, hear us. We pray for our children who can teach us so much about the joy of Christmas. May they grow up healthy and strong in faith. May no harm come to them and no sorrow ever touch them. Lord, hear us. We pray for those less fortunate than ourselves, for those who have no food or shelter, for those with broken hearts and broken homes, for those who feel alone and isolated and lonely. May all the good things that we have not blind us to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. We pray for those among us who have traveled from other countries to make their home in Ireland. We pray that we will always feel welcomed in this community. We remember and pray for our own families and friends in our own homelands who will 
not say this Christmas, Lord, hear us. We pray for family and friends who have died since last Christmas and who are in our thoughts tonight. May the Prince of Peace welcome all our beloved dead into his heavenly banquet. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, whose light, love and happiness have been shown to us this Christmas season, Give us the grace to walk always in your presence. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright.
I think you'll all agree that that was a marvellous evening of music and reflection from our community. And how blessed we are to have such fantastic and incredible talent on our doorstep. So to all the members of the choirs of St. Patrick's College, Loretto College, Cavan Royal School, Breffney College, the Rugby Club Choir, Cavan Singers, our Cathedral Choir, and the Song Sisters, along with Cavan Symphony Orchestra, and our Brass Ensemble and St. Patrick's College Boys Ensemble, and all our soloists, we express tonight, all of us, our sincere thanks for making this such a special evening for us all. And to all our musical directors, especially Eileen and Kieran Tackney, thank you for all your work and dedication and your various musical arrangements. <laughs> to all the young people from our schools who are part of our torchlight procession and all our readers, thanks to you. And a special word of appreciation to Francis Galligan, who was charged with the mammoth task of the choreography of the choirs on and off our sanctuary tonight, and who executed it with exceptional ease. Thank you, Francis. <laughs> to our Saxon, Jerry McGarty, and all our other volunteers who put together our staging we thank you also, and also a big thank you to John Conlon for his work also with our staging. To you also, sorry. <laughs> and to you also who came out tonight in such huge numbers to support us, I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and may you and your families have a happy and peaceful Christmas this year. And if you would like to contribute to our organ restoration fund, there's an opportunity to do so and give a volunteer subscription as you leave if you choose. So now I invite you to stand for our Christmas blessing and our closing carol. Come Lord Jesus into our world which needs the peace of your love and the joy of your presence. Come into the lives of those among us who are troubled. Help us to be the ones who can show the reality of your love and presence in word and deed. Lord, show us your ways and your paths. Teach us your truth. Fill us with your love. May there be a Christian gift from you that each of us can share with others. And may the God who became human in Jesus shine forth in your humanity. May the God of gentleness walk with you wherever you go. May the God of stories give you a new story to tell this coming year. And may the God of peace and joy settle softly on your life this Christmas time. And may his blessing come upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join together with our combined choirs in our closing carol, O Come, All Ye Faithful.